Hello there beautiful people. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. I'm really happy you have. This is a quick tutorial on how I make my salmon dinner for two. Grab yourself a notepad and let's have fun. For the base of the marinade, this is what you're going to need. A serving spoon of honey, some dill, some lime juice, some grated ginger, a stem of grated lemongrass, some chopped garlic and some chopped green chili. You want to drizzle some honey onto the salmon. The salmon that I used is the frozen one from Aldi, um, but you can get better salmon. But this one's quite affordable. Um, you want to add the olive oil in. Then add some lime juice, that's a whole lime by the way. Crack some black pepper in, I like a lot of black pepper. Add your salt. And then you want to mix, making sure you're covering every corner and just getting as much fish to mix in with the mixture. <laughs> you want to add in some ginger. I love the flavor of ginger with this. And then your lemongrass. Lemongrass has got that lemony, kind of herby kind of a taste. You want to put in your garlic. I love garlic. I think I, everything I cook has to be made with garlic. And then after that, you want to add in your chilies. I'm new to chilies, so I've got a little bit of scotch bonnet in there, but not a lot. Grab your dill and um, pick it. I picked it because I wanted to keep um, the little strands in place but you can always chop it up and just kind of put it in with the mixture as well and then after that this is optional I cracked a Maggie cube into the mixture mix everything together don't be afraid to get your hands messy you have to feel the food and become one with the food <laughs> So now I'm just going to add some soy sauce and some Cajun. The only reason why I didn't mention the soy sauce and the Cajun to start with because I think seasoning is something very personal. You have to pick flavors that you actually like and these happen to be my two favorites and they work quite good with this recipe. So now we just have to mix and mix, try to spread it quite evenly, getting the seasoning in all the corners as much as you can. Um, and then after that, you want to cover it with cling film. We're going to cover it quite tightly and place it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Um, this is to help all the flavors to kind of infuse with each other. You can leave it overnight if you want, um, but I did this in 15 minutes. Preheat heat the oven to 200 degrees while the salmon's in the fridge. Um, this will get the oven nice and hot and then prepare to put the salmon in the oven. So as you can see here, I'm putting the garlic and the seasoning and all the flavours underneath the um, salmon. Some on top as well, just a little bit, but most of it is at the bottom. It's because I want all the flavour to really get into the fish. So here, we don't waste anything when you're cooking with me. We do not waste anything. At this point, you want to cover it with foil. And that is basically oven ready. Now leave the salmon to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes on 200 degrees. While the salmon is cooking, start on the tomatoes. These really complement the salmon dish. So what I'm doing here is drizzling some olive oil onto the tomatoes. These are just simple vine cherry tomatoes that you can get from your local store. I'm sprinkling some salt as well on top. And then after, you're just going to add your black pepper. You could also add some herbs if you want to, that's optional, but yeah, it's up to you. So the asparagus. What I'm doing here is taking some of the juice from the fish. The fish is almost done, it's only got like another three minutes left to cook. So I'm just taking the juice from the fish. And then on medium to low heat, I'm bringing it to boil slash cook a little bit. Not really sure what to call this process. And then taking the asparagus and just dropping it in there and just cooking it until it's tender. So when cooked, the asparagus should look something like this with the cherry tomatoes, just drizzling some of the sauce left over. And here is what it looked like when I plated it up after I'd finished cooking it all. Follow me on Instagram, try this recipe out and please take a picture, hashtag it cooking with Kaz and I'll post it on my Facebook. 
um if you haven't liked my facebook page already please do i'm appreciating everyone supporting me and i'm enjoying this process so thank you thank you thank you and i'm glad you enjoyed this if you have subscribe and like cool